Hello my dear children. Today we are going to learn chapter 10. People who enriched our culture. In the following lesson you are going to learn about the people who made the Indian culture rich. We will also learn about religious leaders, social reformers, great kings and scientists and the different religions. So let us begin the topic. So our first topic is religion and religious leaders. So let us begin. Children, we know there are many religions in India. The reli different religions that are there in India are Hinduism, Islam, Buddhism, Jainism, Sikhism, Christianity and Zoroastrianism. So you see children, there are almost seven different religion and different religious leaders in India. Now we are going to learn about the different religion in details. Let's see. Hinduism. You know Hinduism is considered the oldest religion in the world. It is believed that they believe in one supreme God. He is worshipped in three main forms. So the three main forms are Brahma, the creator, Vishnu, the preserver and the Shiva, the destroyer. So these are the three main forms of one supreme God in Hinduism. Do you know the holy book of Hindus are the Vedas, the Puranas, the Ramayana, the Mahabharata and the main important holy book is the Srimad Bhagavad Gita. Now you know that there are some religious leaders there Adi Shankaracharya, Swami Dayanand Saraswati, Swami Vivekananda and Sri Ramakrishna Paramhasna. They have helped the Hinduism to grow. Now let us see about Islam. Islam was founded by Prophet Muhammad. In this religion they are believed Muslim believed in one God. It is Allah. Prophet Muhammad was born in Mecca in Saudi Arabia. He gave the message of love, peace and brotherhood to the people. The holy book of Muslim is the Quran. Now we are going to learn about Buddhism. Now we will learn about Buddhism. You know children, Buddhism was founded by Gautam Buddha. He attained Nirvana or peace under a Bodhi tree at district Koya in Bihar. You know, he also told people to follow the Eightfold Principles. Now, what are the Eightfold Principles? Let's see. The Eightfold Principles are Right Thinking, Right Speech, Right Living, Right Knowledge, Right Action, Right Effort, Right Observation and Right Meditation. According to him, if we follow these principles, we will have a good life and we can attain peace. So, in order to do so, he asked the people to have all the different, this eightfold paths. So, this was his effort to make the people walk on the right path. You know, the holy books of Buddhism are Dharmapada and the Tripitakas.
Now let us learn about Jainism. It is believed that Jainism has been started by Rishabs, the first Tithankara or the spiritual leader. The religion gained widespread acceptance at the time of Lord Mahavira, the 24th Tithankara. So you see children, from the 1st till 24th, it took a lot of spiritual leader and the religion gained widespread acceptance in so long a lot of period of time right now in jainism it is believed that there are some paths like buddhism to the right path the right conduct right knowledge and ahimsa or non-violence you know the jains are purely vegetarian you see the cloth on their mouth they believe that we should not eat any of the animals or any living things because they believed all people or all living beings should live a peaceful life now let us learn about Sikhism. Sikhism was founded by Guru Nanak Dev. He preached God is one, present everywhere at all time. He was against blind faith. Now what is blind faith? Children you will see many people go to some gurus and babas where they find some peace. They think that they are the messenger of God but some of these Babas and Gurus can be a fake person that is why he was against the blind faith he taught brotherhood among people Guru Nanak Dev was the first Guru of Sikhs there were 10 Sikh Gurus Guru Gobind Singh the 10th Guru founded Khalsa Pant the holy book of Sikh are Guru Granth Sahib. So my dear children, you see, Sikhism has also has its own value of praying to God. Now let us learn about Christianity. We all know that Christianity was founded by Jesus Christ. He was born to Joseph and Mary at Bethlehem. The Christians believe that Jesus is the Son of God. Jesus Christ taught people to love and all other people. Not only all other people but also to love God. He laid emphasis on the importance of forgiveness. You know, Jesus Christ always believed in forgiveness because he thinks all sinners must sin. But we should always forgive and forget that is why the holy christians believe in the holy book called the bible you know christianity was brought to india by saint thomas now we are going to learn about the last religion that is zoroastrianism you know Zoroastrianism was founded by Zoroaster or Zarastura. The followers of Zoroastrianism are also called Parsis. He taught people to be good and fight evil. The Parsis worship in a fire temple. The holy book of Parsis are Zend Avesta. And their most important festival is Navroz. So my dear children, today we will do this much. And in the next class, we are going to learn about different social reformers and great kings. And also we are going to learn about scientists. So all of you, please go through the book for now. And I will see you in the next class. Till then, take care and God bless you all. Bye-bye.